Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. I want to run through the dailies, but before we get in there, had a couple questions about the Draconic video we did with the formations that we're using with the Dragon Isle. Now the Dragon Isle formations specifically were just the ones that we are running through um, that were kind of set. So looking at preparing for battle, the first formation that we look right here is um, the Awakened version of Sophia, as you can see. We have Nyla in here, we have Cassius in here, Polina, and then we do have Rimuru in here. Now, of course, looking at the SP effect, we only have one that is in here. The second formation, again, a lot of players kind of question. I'm looking in here, it is Gwen and it is Melion. Now, Gwen requires a very, very big build out for this hero to do incredibly well. And of course, we have some crowd control in here. We have the SP effect of the Awakened version of Shimira. Ivan in here as the shield. Now, as a shield, as an energy regeneration, then, of course, Melion is going to buff. Even looking in here, we have Tamaris. Tamaris is going to provide an extended amount of buffs in here as well. And then our final formation, finally having Hildwin built in the entirety. We have a couple of buffers in here really to keep them alive and amplifying the damage that we have. Now, of course, Hildwin can play a role of a damage dealer. He can also play pretty defensive. If you're going in here and you're buffing him up like we're seeing in this specific formation, he can do quite a bit of damage. Gavis also does a little bit of formation. If you put a lot of support, if you put a lot of damage dealers right behind there, it will work very well. Now, having Gwen built, having Hildwin built, we know that we're focused on our entirety for land. But looking here at the regular summons, all of these heroes are built up and they're built up to the point that they're ascended, that they have the one star. I'm not going to do any more summons unless or until we get our next Draconic hero. Now, the Dragon Heart Temple... We have 10 more in here. Now we are looking for Lan. Lan, unfortunately, right now is only at Legendary Plus, meaning we need a stupid amount of insignias and a crazy amount of luck to actually get Lan built out of here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do my summon because every time that we do 10 of these, we are that much closer and this is not going to be a copy of Lan, but that is bringing us one step closer, 10 insignias closer to building out this hero in the entirety which is what we're focusing on. So again, I want to run through the daily. So the way that I do them, picking up, of course, our AFK loot, then we begin. If I do not exclusively come in and plan to run campaign formations, I just go ahead, I run my first formation, I pause it, I exit. That, of course, is going to give us the ability and give us the daily quest, the, the credit for the daily quest. Now, in Fast Rewards, this is the point where you want to do this a multitude of times, doing this one time for free. Here we have 50 diamonds. Then we have 80 diamonds. At this point, a lot of newer players, that is where you stop once you start making a little bit more progression in the campaign. You might want to do it more. For where I'm at, being at VIP 16 at this point, I'm going to do this two more times. Now, what we're looking for specifically out of here, we are looking for cores and we are also looking for hero essence. Now, when it comes to AFK Arena and when it comes to building out levels for heroes, very, very specifically, when you think of the, the um, resonance level, the, the um, crystal levels, it makes a big difference in the upcoming Abyssal Expedition and a couple other game modes where levels make a difference. Tower formations, they make a difference. Campaign formations, they make a big difference in there. Then if we get any bonuses in here, if we pick up any loot, any stones, any chests, anything like that, I stop at the 200. I So we're spending, what, two, three, about 330 diamonds every single day just to do the fast rewards, but it accumulates. When you think of the, the essence that we got out of there and getting that five times every single day over a 30 day period, it is kind of crazy with how much essence you can pull out of this specific game mode. Moving over to the dark forest, we have our bounty board. You can see we go ahead, we refresh this. Now I do not refresh it under normal circumstances. The only time that I will actually use our refresh is when there is the event or or the um the 100% bonus in here to actually get some different loot. So I just go ahead, I dispatch on what we have right here. Team bounties, of course, you cannot refresh this. So we're just going to go ahead and dispatch that. And there we go. That is done very, very easy. Now, arena, this is another area where you have to complete one arena combat every single day, making sure where you're going to. If I'm going to focus on PvP for the day, if I want to come in here and run this, because remember, it gives you loot. Guys, when you think of the multiple places in AFK Arena that you can get a lot of loot, this is a place where you can farm this up. If you have a lot of your tokens, if you have a lot of the, the guild or the arena tickets, you can farm this up and you can farm this up in, in a pretty big way just for the simple fact that you have the ability to come in here, you have the ability to farm out a lot of different players 
And every time you win this, it is gonna give you loot. If you're looking for gold, if you're looking for essence, this is a pretty good way. Again, if you have the arena tickets, if you have the time, that you can go ahead and you can farm this up. Now, of course, Treasure Scramble is almost concluded. Have a couple more hours, the season will be over. And overall, guys, you have to make sure that you're adjusting and changing your formations in the Treasure Scramble on a regular basis. Now, the King's Tower, I do the exact same as I do other places. If I intentionally come in here and I'm looking to farm the King's Tower, I will set my formations, I will go in here. If we're doing this just on a daily basis, I attack, I reset, and there we go, we are done with that. Now, looking at our stores, this is another point that I do get a lot of questions at. When we look at the store itself, this is a place where the one key thing you wanna build and you wanna buy out is your time emblem. Getting the time emblem out of here every single day is gonna give you the ability to build the current Awakened Heroes and also future Awakened Heroes. It is imperative that you buy this because we know within the Temple of Time, you cannot use diamonds to um, do summons, meaning the time emblem is the only way to go. Now, a lot of players also question when it comes to a couple other places in here, and I think I just messed up my mouse, um, but when it comes to a couple other places in here, what do we buy in other places? You can see we have the Arcane Staffs, we have the cores, we have the baits, we also do have Essence right down here. Now, if you're thinking of building out and buying a couple different things, I would really um, hesitate to, do you have all of the Celestials and the Hypos built? That, of course, is gonna be something very, very important. I don't want you using a bunch of diamonds in the shop when you are missing some of the very core and really the meta Celestials and Hypos. If you do already have all those Celestials and those Hypos built, then I would focus on one thing and one thing specifically. If it's gonna be staffs, if it's gonna be cores, if it's going to be baits. If you don't have Beast Resonance 18, I would do the baits first before you do anything else. But overall, you wanna focus on one thing. Since I have a pretty good income rate here when it comes to our um, cores, the baits or my beasts are already at 18. So I choose to buy staffs. So every single time that I go in here, I make sure that we get that time emblem first. And then I do buy these arcane staffs. You can see that we have six. As it sits today, this is one of the only places that you can get them. And it's super, um, honestly, it's, it's sad. They need to adjust it. They need to change it when it comes to these staffs themselves because this is the only place spending an extended amount of diamonds, you'll be able to get this. Now, of course, just looking at our daily, we do have the resonating crystal right here. We can gain a level on here. And we are up to three or what, 935 at this point. Guys, we are making some crazy amount of progression in here. When it comes to levels, I know D2 was, was uh, chasing me for a while and I believe he might've surpassed me at this point. But looking here, guys, we have 150 heroes of 163 in the crystal, in the resonating crystal, and we're at level 935. You can see the cap right here is 1,075. I don't believe it might go that high. It might go that high based on heroes. I know there's some I haven't built out, which I thought I seen a couple players, if I remember correctly, at like the 1100 level, which is kind of insane to think. Now coming up here, Oaken, you're just gonna collect again your resources like we always see. Um, have the ability to add, and I didn't even think about this because we have a new hero that we have to add, which of course is Polina. I'll go ahead, I'll swap exactly her location so we know what it is. And again, it seems like my mouse um, is going super slow. I don't know what I did to it. I'll have to check it out in a little bit, but there we go. So Polina is built. We can go ahead and manage these towers. This of course is gonna be a pain because I think she's over, I'm not sure if I put them in the last tower. The Draconic Heroes, there we go. So we don't have very many Draconic Heroes, but that does put her over there. Throw some furniture on her, and I believe actually we have a lot of furniture for her. If I remember correctly, when we the Draconic Heroes were released, there we go. So we have three of nine already, making a big difference with the build out for Polina. And again, we'll continue building those out, but we wanna collect this on the daily. And then going into the guilds. Now this is more important than it has ever been in the past, which is the guild bosses. You wanna go in here with Riz, you wanna go in here with Sword, and you want to maximize your damage. You can see we did our billion damage in here, which will kill the actual boss. The reason being guild coins. When it comes to guild coins, we added Eugene in there, we added Hildwin, we added the insignias, we added the time emblems. You want to make sure you are maximizing your damage in here every single time. If you go ahead and you're hitting this billion, you can just sweep like we just did right there, but making sure Big, big priority to get the guild coins out of here in the, in honestly, every single day. Then when you come to the quest, 
it is completed in its entirety. Boom, boom, boom. It'll run up, complete all of these, getting some additional diamonds, getting some additional loot, as you can see right here, out of the Field of Stars. The weekly, the same. So dailies roll the weeklies. And of course, when you start looking in here, big picture, this is the way you progress in the AFK arena. This is honestly the biggest and easiest way. If you're looking to farm, the most beneficial thing to farm in this game in its entirety is the King's Tower. This is the place that you will get loot. You will get everything that you need out of these stages, including looking at Stargazer Scrolls, looking at, you know, getting time albums, getting everything you need will come out of these very, very specific um, towers. You want to make sure that you're farming these. If you're doing anything and you're stuck in progression, you can't make any more room. Um, borrowing heroes, murking heroes, and then of course going in here and farming out those towers in the entirety are absolutely huge. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.